I think that things like AI and machine learning really can make a difference when it comes to audio engineering and plugin design. I actually think that audio is so difficult to understand that it really needs some form of artificial intelligence in order for a computer to to really understand it. However, I, I'm not sure if we're already there yet. I think that by the time that a computer can really understand the emotion around uh, audio and uh, around music, we are already in the quantum computing era or something. I don't, I don't think we're already there yet. And that is why for snake oil videos, uh, receiving emails with a neural net audio in the subject line really triggers me. And I received such an email from Tons and Tons, 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 and Tons makes uh, a plugin called Mic Upgrade, which I really want to check out today. So let's get started. All right, so Tons, Tons has a really really basic and simple website. And I think like if you make a good product, you don't have to scream a lot. They've got mic upgrade and mic upgrade ribbon. And uh, what this thing does is it basically upgrades uh, your microphone. So you can use a, they say, it, they say it over here, a cheap small diaphragm microphone. And it transforms it into an expensive large diaphragm studio microphone. And they are using trained models directly into their audio plugins and the models transforming signal in real time. If you don't have access to an AAA recording studio, try this out. So I think three years ago, I think it's three years ago, uh, I recorded a video, I'll link it over here, where I did a shootout between the cheapest microphone in the world and the, one of the most expensive microphones in the world. And the cheapest one was... I forgot the name of it, but it's uh, it was like a $50 microphone from Amazon. It's one of the cheapest microphones with an XLR connection. I think it was even cheaper. I think it was $20 or something. Anyway, super cheap microphone and a U47 tube. So like a $15,000 to $20,000, depending on where you can get it, uh, type of microphone. And we compared them both. Actually, a lot of things, but the, the ones that I really like to use for this example uh, are the uh, guitar and uh, grand piano recording. So I want to check this plugin out on there. So let's first start with the uh, UI, the user interface. And, and actually, I don't have a lot to say about that because there isn't a lot. We've got input gain and we've got makeup gain. We've got this, we've got mic upgrade, got a question mark. So it explains the two dials. Makeup gain parameter. This is the gain that is applied to the signal at the end of the signal chain. Yeah. And the input. The more you turn up, the more overdrive and distortion you get. So it functions like a preamp then or something. Anyway, um, let's just try it out. Let's run some audio through it. And um, uh, let's do Sandstorm, of course. Uh, played on the acoustic guitar from the recording from two years ago. It does transform the sound. Does it go? Does it get any better? It's by the way, it's a demo, and it's an annoying demo, is what I'm what I'm just seeing. So it sometimes mutes it, but let's do low gain. So I'm really wondering how this would work, also from a training data perspective. I mean, I mean, how, how would this, how do, let's just get a little bit philosophical over here. I'm not, I'm not an AI engineer, programmer, whatever. I'm just a, 
a random dude on the internet screaming uh, the word snake oil all around. So how, how would this work? So so you you are, of course, uh, feeding the AI or the, the neural network or the, the machine learning, however you want to call it. Uh, one of these buzzwords, you are feeding that thing, that, that beast, that monster, that thing that you've created. You're feeding that certain data to train with. So... Are you like saying like, hey, if something sounds like this, it should actually sound like this. Just as I have over here, I have the cheap recording of the guitar and the CMV recording of the guitar. On the guitar with that CMV, not U47. Is, is that like, are you feeling that both? Like, okay, if, if something is this, you should make it into this. And how much data is it going to need? Because think about the variables that there are. Like... Now I'm using it on acoustic guitar, but there's also things like grand piano. There are things like vocals. There are things like like electric guitar drums. Uh, and, and these are only pop instruments, keys, like Hammond things, like, like where you need to record things, organs. Uh, but you also have some lesser uh, used uh, instruments, some, some less popular instruments. So how should, how, how is this... How how should this thing know exactly what to do? I don't I don't really get how how this would work. And also, this thing is choosing one sound, so it's just saying like, hey, I'm upgrading your microphone to sound more expensive. But if you look at the expensive range of microphones, you already have so top top end range. You have U47, you've got uh, C12, AKG C12, you've got some very cool vintage ribbons from RCA. There are already a lot of things to choose. If you are recording in the top end segment, there are a lot of microphones to choose from. If you have an unlimited microphone locker where, where you can choose between every microphone, there's already a lot to choose from. And this thing is only choosing one for me. And maybe I want to use something different, uh, just as I did in the in the C1040 uh, microphone review. I actually wanted to use a, a, an omnidirectional setting on the acoustic guitar in the background. And this thing is only giving me like just some basic gaining which a lot of other plugins are lacking like the utility is in there but that's all it does it's like it's really like an ai it's a black box that you put something in and something comes out now do i like how it sounds uh no no if you listen to uh and and here we go again with with what i said in the beginning the vibe and feel really gets taken away from this uh, uh with this plugin so uh, and this is just on the cheap on the, on the cheap microphone recording like let's do the let's let's do the intro part i think and let's do it without It's so much different, and I don't, I don't think it's an uh, improvement in uh, quality. Let's compare what it does here with the mic upgrade. Let's compare that with, with like a high quality uh, CMV microphone with an M7 capsule. Like, if I ever would need to choose, like, the one that uh, grabs me more on the emotional spectrum, I would choose the CMV. Of course, the CMV will need a little bit of EQ, but it has just, it, it has way more depth in it. Now, let's try it on, on, uh, on the um, grand piano. So, we've got the, the cheap microphone recording with that uh, plugin inserted and U47s on grand piano. And quite honestly, U47s are great microphones, like, like they are some kind of a golden standard, like they, they are awesome microphones. But on Grand Piano they aren't always the best choice. But let's compare uh, between like what the Tons plugin thinks a cheap microphone converted to an expensive microphone using their AI would sound and an actual expensive AAA class, whatever you want to call it, cool, great microphone. A set of microphones because it's stereo. So the cheap ones. So 
sometimes it's cutting out. All right, same part, U47s. I mean, th this is what I mean. I'm feeling this. This sounds like it's coming from a cheap keyboard that you can get at, at like your local shop. Like... And this... Feels like a living and breathing... Breathing? No. Breathing. Instrument. Like... If you see a grand piano breathing, that would be... <laughs> no, it would look interesting. I don't think I want to see that actually. All right, so now let's let's check between uh, what it is actually doing. So the cheap microphone and then the processed uh, signal. Like it's only taking. Like. Like it's not that it's not doing anything. Like it's not it's not a complete placebo, but <laughs> like it's just taking the soul out of it. Like, like that that little bit of soul that is left in because of that that small uh, cheap microphone recording. It's taking that out of there. So I want to put it on the U47 recording because U47 microphone is a high quality microphone. So basically what it should do is nothing. It should listen and think like, hey, this is already good and just pass it through. Or maybe touch it up a little bit, whatever. But it shouldn't do a lot because this is a high quality recording, right? Let's try it. It's, there's some buzz introduced as well. It's not an original signal. And again, it's... It's making it into a completely different signal. So I don't, I don't get it. So, so, so there are two, two uh, conclusions here, or two possible conclusions here. First one is, I don't get it and uh, I'm using it wrong. I don't know how you can use a plugin wrong with only two buttons in it. I don't know, but it, it's the results that I'm getting are so meh that I, uh, I can't really imagine that they, that they signed off on this. Like, okay, we're building a plugin, AI, uh, that kind of stuff. And I'm motivating this. I'm motivating like, hey, uh, keep on going. Uh, this is this video is not meant to get you out of business or something, uh, but more meant to say like, hey, there's a lot more work needed. Um, I don't know if the guys from uh, or girls from uh, Tons are watching. It's just not there yet, which makes me wonder, am I using it in the wrong way? Or is it just not there yet? Like, you understand what I mean? Because this really, um, I really have no, like, I haven't heard a single second of audio through this plugin that uh, actually transforms a microphone into an AAA recording studio. And I'm using it on two different recordings with a cheap microphone as input, even with an expensive mic as input, and it's it's just... It's just not doing it. I don't. I don't really want to try the ribbon uh, plugin because I was just thinking like, hey, I don't really have ribbon recordings to compare it with, and we're getting into weird territory there because if you're recording with a cardioid setup and then going into a figure of eight, uh, let's save that for a different video. I would really love to check it out again if if they would uh, upgrade the uh, mic upgrade uh, because we're not there yet. Uh, I think there's still a long way to go, not only for this plugin, but for AI in general to really get to the uh, intelligence level um, to real-time transform audio into uh, what we humans <laughs> want to hear. Maybe this is made for an AI. So it's from an AI for an AI. Maybe this is how an AI likes to enjoy sound. Who knows? I, I don't know, but uh, is this plugin worth it? Absolutely not. Um, I don't think uh, 
it's worth uh, nineteen dollars. I don't think it's worth fifty dollars. I actually think it's it's even if you would get it for free, like it's it's not helping you, the producer. It's not helping you any further. It's just not. Or, but I don't know. I don't know this company. I don't know the people. Uh, but if you trust the company to uh, get better at this and like learn. Because it's all about learning, like like AI is about learning, not only for us, but also for the algorithm. If you think that the product will get better, then it could help buying it. <laughs> this sounds weird. It could help buying it because then they have the funds to uh, further uh, develop it. But I don't know. Maybe maybe this is complete snake oil company and maybe, maybe we should stay away from it. I will link to it below. Uh, they do have a demo, so you can check it out yourself on your own. Uh, recordings. Uh, anyway, that's my uh, conclusion. Uh, for the disclosure, um, uh, they sent me an email if I would take a look at this. Um, I don't think they would have expected me to say this. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they would. I'm not con in contact with them. I was running the demo all the time. They don't know that I'm actually making a video. And uh, yeah, everything is my complete independent uh, opinion and everything that I'm saying is my own. And if you want to support my independence and not uh, uh, want me to make re weird deals in order to keep going with the YouTube videos in order to keep my company alive, uh, make sure to support me by uh, using the affiliate links in the description down below. Affiliate is one of the best ways to support me. You go to those shops by using my link, buy something in those shops, if you need something of course, and then I get a small percentage of your purchase uh, kicked back to the studio, to me, to White Studio, to my company. Another way to support me is by pledging a bit to my Patreon campaign, which I'm going to link over here. And on Patreon, you get early access to videos, answers to your questions, and some other good stuff all over here. Last way to support the whole YouTube platform is by watching more videos. I'll link one of mine over here, but uh, YouTube will do its best to link other videos around this one. I want to thank you all a lot for watching. Keep pushing, and bye-bye.